Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk Wi-Fi routers. Above me is a EE mobile Wi-Fi. It's got a little SIM card slot in the side here. And on the top, it's got two little aerials, which normally have like little antennas. I've taken them off and I've put an external Wi-Fi booster. At the moment, with EE, excuse me, uh, there's only one bar where I live, which is okay for streaming, and it's okay for most things, emails, watching YouTube, uh, and anything else you want to do. But I didn't think that was good enough. So I had a quick look on eBay, and people are on there, and they're selling an unlock code for the EE mobile Wi-Fi, anywhere from 99p up to 13 pounds. So I thought, well, if there's an unlock code, I wonder what EE you know, know about it. So quick search on the interweb, come up with the EE website. I typed in my EE and it basically says you can unlock any peripheral or any apparatus, what you ever want to call them, for free. So on the box, this is my box, that's what it came with. It came, it's a 240 household uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Um, you get all the gump with it, you get a card, um, and it has, in there, inside there's the nano SIM. So you just pop that in and away you go. Now, as I said, where I live, the Wi-Fi here, or the Wi-Fi reception for EE, is not very, you know, not very good. It's only like one bar. But as I said, I've got a, a Wi-Fi uh, extended aerial on the roof because obviously the van's fully insulated um, and it doesn't get a very good signal. So I thought I'll have a quick look and see if I can improve that. Now, I went to Tesco's a little while ago because I wanted a new phone because um, the iPhone 13 came out. So I went in there and they were doing a really, really good deal on an iPhone and I thought, you know what? Even though I don't need a SIM card, it's got unlimited data, unlimited calls, unlimited everything. And it's not capped. The only thing you have to do with it is if um, there is an unfair usage of it. Um, and you can put like 99p or zero. So I set mine to zero because, well, it's unlimited, isn't it? So I came home and I've had the phone for a while now and basically I put my old SIM card in from my old iPhone into this one. And I used the iPhone 8 as a spare phone um, on the dashboard for sat-nav and, you know, whatever. So I've got this lovely phone and unlimited data. Now, so I'm on EE and that's also got unlimited data, but the signal sometimes isn't all that great. I've never had a real problem, but like most people, you don't really like looking at one bar. You want three bars, don't you? You want all of it, all, all the lights lit up. So I went onto the EE website and on there, you can unlock it. All you need is your box, or your EMI number, all the details are on the front here. And you type the uh, EMI number in and your email address, and basically it comes up with an unlock code. I'll show you some screenshots now. Uh, they are off the phone, so they are gonna be a little bit slim, not you know full width. And basically you just follow the instructions. You put in the new SIM card, and Bob's your uncle, you have a fully unlocked mobile router. <clears throat> now, that's pretty cool actually, because obviously some, I know some uh, Wi-Fi uh, dongles have two SIM card slots, uh, but obviously this has only got the one. So I'll swap the SIM cards over, and now the, because uh, it's in Tesco's, and Tesco's is on O2. So now I'm on O2 and I've got, where I am, I've got <clears throat> two bars. As soon as I move, I'm on to three bars. 
and the Wi-Fi reception now is almost, if not as good as, uh, fiber optic. It really, really is so fast. I have no lag, no, I mean, not that I had any problems before, but you could see there's a little bit of latency, but this is, um, this is so much better. So if you want to uh, unlock your EE uh, Wi-Fi box, just go on their website and put the IMI number, the EMI number in, I think it's called an EMI number, and uh, they will send you the passcode, which is just a, I think it's like six digits or seven or eight digits, something like that. You have to use your laptop. Basically, you go on your laptop and you turn off the Wi-Fi and then you type in uh, 192.168.1.1. That gets you into the router. You have to be quite close to it. Anyway, in this section there, it will come up with router settings and you can rename it and stuff like that. So uh, I've renamed mine, obviously Project Camper. You can put your, your own uh, passcodes in you can change all the settings and do what you like with it really which is quite handy actually because obviously and you can make it a private network uh just there's just loads of stuff on there you can do which is really really handy so you go down and you can put in unlock code so you put the unlock code in then all you have to do is you put your new sim card in the side and that is it you are up and running completely unlocked to choose any network that you uh, deem fit whatever you want to do gif gaff the whole lot the other reason why i wanted to do it is because when we're allowed uh, and we go abroad obviously there might be some kind of conditions because now we're not in ee uh sorry the eu not ee uh the eu that the roaming data might be capped or for whatever reason so you can just go into a local shop and you can buy a, a nano sim card chuck it in the side and now you've got wi-fi abroad um you can use it as you know you can probably buy and pay as you go or a, a, a 15 pound data card or 20 well euros chuck it in and away you go or if you're obviously spending a long longer you can get a, a year contract and uh, you won't have to worry about data charges and roaming charges. So I just thought I'd let you know about that little tip. I don't know if you know, but I just thought that'd be a, a, just a little, great little small video to do. Let everybody know and uh, go from there. So anyway, I hope you found this little uh, tutorial or little tip bit, van life hack, router hack, computer hack, hack hack, uh, useful and uh see what happens so anyway thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you in the next video merry christmas cheers bye